Hey everybody, my name is John. Welcome to another edition of Zone 1 Brewery Views. Uh, today we're going to be bringing you a, uh, a beer that I've not had since 2012. Uh, I'm pretty excited about it uh, to bring you this uh, review on uh, Amstel Light. Uh, this is a Heineken made product. Uh, it says on the bottle it's made in Amsterdam, but from the research I've done, I don't believe it's no longer made in Amsterdam. I believe it's now made at the uh, main brewery of Heineken. Uh, I'm kind of anxious to, to to pop this up and, and uh, see what characteristics this has compared to the uh, Heineken Light. Uh, and from the green bottle taste to the brown bottle taste. Uh, so let's pop it open and see what we get out of it. Uh, compared to... Uh, an overseas light beer to an American light beer. So let's see what we get out of it. It pours pretty stereotypical uh, lager light beer. Uh, about a about a one finger head. Uh, pretty typical for these. Uh, it's got some carbonation coming up out of the bottom of it. Not much. Uh, I'd like to see a little bit more carbonation, but you're talking at 3.5% at, at ABV. I mean, so mo most of this is, is, I guess, would be considered watered down a little bit. Uh, <clears throat> so let's see what we get off the old smell test of this. It still holds a pretty consistent head for, and just a little bit of minimal lacing on it. Lacing staying pretty tight on it. So let's uh, let's give it a smell. You can definitely smell a little bit of your uh, toasted barley malts in it. Uh, it's got that hot presence in it that you can smell just a little bit. And, and I'm sure they're they're not the best barley malts. They're not the best hops that's used in this beer, but but. Uh, it, it, it it's definitely got just a little bit more smell than, than say your higher end uh, light beers like say your Bud Light or your, your Miller Lights have got. Uh, but let's uh, let's give this bad boy a whirl and see what it tastes like. Let me give it one more. You can definitely get the characteristics, like like I said, the grassy hop notes, uh, the barley malts in it. I think it's more of a bold, light beer than, like I say, your typical Bud Light or Miller Light has. Uh, but 3.5%, I mean, you still got that just a little bit of, of that watery background to it, uh, which would, I would say... If I was going to compare it to an American-made uh, light beer, compare it to say your more your uh, Coors Light, uh, your Keystone Lights, uh, it's got that more watery type taste to it. That, but you know, for three point five percent, I mean, that's, that's what you're getting. The body's a little thin on it, uh, but it's got some taste to it. It's got some some some. Uh, Characteristics you're not going to get off an American light beer, uh, which I, I'm really enjoying it. Like I said, I've not had it since 2012. I had one before I started the, the review to just to kind of get up to date on on, on this beer again, and, and that's pretty much what I'm getting from what I think I had in 2012. The grainy characteristics on this, you definitely get that. I guess the, the bready notes and. And, and the other notes, and I actually think in the back end, it's got just a little bit of a sour note to it. But you're, you know, between this and, and your Heineken, uh, I'm not getting that green bottle taste off of it that, that most people say they get. I'm not getting that skunky taste that most people say they get on it. Uh, I'm getting a, an overall impression that this is just a pretty good uh, uh, light beer. Uh, it's better than most. I mean, for a price point, 
Uh, would I buy this beer again? I'm not going to say I'm not going to buy this beer again. Uh, it's a couple bucks more expensive than your, your average six pack of uh, Bud Light or, or Miller Light. Or, you know, I think I give eight nine nine for a six pack. I had to drive a little ways to get it. And, and that's totally fine. I don't care. But, uh, you know, it, it would be one of those beers that if, if, if somebody that you went to their house and they was more along the lines of your light beer or your your regular beer adjunct drinkers this would be one to take to them to, to introduce them to and uh, to let them see that there's there's a, a market outside the United States for light beers and uh, but this is a pretty enjoyable beer uh, I did get on the Amstel light website and, and this is the beer for burgers and uh, I think this would definitely uh, pair good with a hamburger but I also think it it would pair good with a, a good old-fashioned chili dog. Uh, it's, it's not going to be one of those beers that's, that's going to kill the taste of your burger or kill the taste of your hot dog or chili dog. Uh, this would be a phenomenal beer to have with those. Uh, but overall, I mean, this is just an enjoyable beer. I mean, it's not one that's readily available in a lot of areas. I had to drive to Kentucky to find it. Uh, I went to a couple of package stores to try to find it. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to look any more out here. I'm going to go because I know I can get it in Louisville. Uh, which is not real far away from where I live, so, but, uh, overall, I mean, Amstel Light, on a, on a scale of zero to five, I mean, I'm gonna give it a four, I gotta judge it for what it is, I mean, uh, I'd definitely give this a four overall in style, uh, I didn't even get on the eight beer and beer out because I know they're gonna blow this thing apart, uh, but I think for a light beer, I mean, if you want a, uh, beer from uh that's brewed overseas and you're a light beer enthusiast like myself this is one that you're really going to enjoy this is one that, that's it's got some umph to it i mean like i said 3.5 percent it's a little watery on the back end but it's got some good mouth feel it's, it's it's got some good presence to it and it's one you're really going to enjoy so I'm John Sharon, Zone 1 Brew Reviews. Uh, if you can find it, buy it, try it, drink it. Uh, Amstel Light. Uh, I don't think you're going to go wrong. Thanks everybody for watching. Uh, leave comments, wherever you want to on the bottom. Thumbs up, thumbs down. We're all good. That's what we're all about. Drink what you like. Later.